supplies and an evacuation plan for yourself aren't the only things you need to have on your hurricane checklist. If you've got a pet, you need a plan for them as well. What if uh, they get sick? What if they run off? What if they're evacuating with you? That's obviously first case uh, choice. We want to bring in Dr. Co Tony Coronado, Thrive Pet Healthcare's National Director of Emergency Services and Urgent Care. Let's talk about what we need for our pet. Again, most people don't ever want to leave their pet behind, so they're going to evacuate with them. What should we be gathering now ahead of the hurricane or the real bulk of hurricane season? Well, as you know, a hurricane or even a severe tropical depression could just severely disrupt our lives you know, from access to supplies and medications. And so, as you said, most people think about themselves, but we need to prep for our pets. And the best way to do that is, one, make sure they're current on all their vaccines. You know, when the weather hits and that moisture hits, that causes a lot of unsafe, unsanitary conditions and disease conditions can actually start to grow pretty significantly. So we want to have them up to date on their vaccines. So when they're exposed to rodents or so forth, they're not going to be uh, as vulnerable to those vector borne diseases that we talk about. Their heartworm prevention, make sure you have their heartworm and their flea and tick pre preventatives uh, not only up to date, but you've got a ready supply, probably about two or three weeks, if not a month or two, a couple of months worth, so you have them, because um, we don't know when we'll get access to that again. Those diseases tend to spike during this period of time because the mosquito and tick uh, and other, uh, again, other parasites start to really bloom in the aftermath. Um, predominantly, one thing you also want to make sure you do is have your medications ready. If you have a pet that's on common medications for heart disease, arthritis, diabetes in particular, those are things that you want to make sure you have a supply on hand because we aren't, you're not going to be able to just run to the veterinarian's office in many conditions or even to your local pharmacy and grab them if they're closed down due to the hurricane. Um, other things you might want to do is have a travel bag ready that has a supply of those things ready so you can grab and go instead of having to run around last minute trying to get a hold of all those things. And their food, you know, you want to pack up their food too um, and any treats or comfort items that they may have. And if you Dr. have a Dr. Coronado, if we're evacuating with our pet, how should we be transporting them? And what if we're going to maybe a shelter that also accepts animals? Like, What's that environment like for your pet being around other people and other animals? Well, generally, if you, you want to have a crate ready so you can transport them, you know, it, it gets rough and ready when you're riding around um, and you want to make sure they don't jump out. Have them microchipped so that if they do get away from you, you can get them back. You know, microchip is not a way that you can track a pet, but it's a way they can identify them at a shelter or a vet's office and we can reunite those pets. So have them that way, obviously leashes and harnesses, blankets for them. Um, if they go into a shelter environment, that's why you want to have them up to date on their vaccines. If they go into a boarding facility so that they're not going to be susceptible to any of the diseases that you typically see in shelters or boarding facilities like respiratory diseases or so forth. Uh, but the biggest thing is also you staying calm. These guys pick up on what we feel and our emotions. And so if we get all ramped up, so will they. And while they can calm us, we can also calm them. And the other thing you want to make sure you do is, is know the local ER you know, veterinary emergency rooms and veterinary urgent care facilities, not only where you are locally, but where you may be relocating to. Uh, and you want to pick an urgent care or an emergency care facility based on if something happens with your pet. Um, we have a list of those things and a pet first aid kit that you can have. We have those listed at thrivepetcare.com or you can ask your vet for those. This is awesome. Well, Dr. Tony Coronado, Thrive Pet Healthcare's National Director of Emergency Services and Urgent Care, thank you so much for your time and the great advice. Great. Thank you. Microchips and collars, I think, are key. You know, uh, you don't have to put out much, but uh, in terms of financial uh, cost of having these, it's critical in getting your pets back if you get separated. They're part of the family. Treat yeah. them like you would, you know, a number of members.